Hello, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Restoration of Rome. And yeah, we have declared another war for a county. And we do have a greater army, but I would prefer to mm, avoid a battle so that we can maintain our troops. I will finish the first siege here and after that I will probably attack them, but I am not uh, certain. Maybe we will just wait because uh, those are mountains, right? So the defender gets a bonus, as you can see in the tooltip. So maybe we'll just wait here and finish all the sieges, because I have four counties and the defender only has one. Another claim, wonderful, you are doing very well. Yes, I surely do want the claim, and it's actually against the guy that we're fighting right now, which is pretty good, because when we declare it, he should, we could destroy his forces first. Um, Right, we have lost the Siege of Salento, but won the Siege over here. And as you can see, we both conquered one province, but we have positive war score, because, yeah, we are we have more. We don't care that much that they took one. And we should... Can I declare war on him when he's in jail? Mm, I think I can. Okay, and now we will move our guy here to Aprutium. So we, he will fabricate a claim on the last vassal of our liege. And when we take all those lands, we will just declare our war of independence. And I have checked in the meantime this... Uh, where is that? The option to claim stuff from the po um, using the Pope. And I have learned that... I have learned that he needs to hate whoever that is directed at. So, yeah. He doesn't hate the guy, apparently. Right, let's continue. Let's continue and just siege stuff. They'll probably be able to take another county. Well, most certainly, but in the meantime I should... Um, should take everything left in this province and possibly get enough war score to just win. We have won the siege of Melfi, another one, the city, and only the church remains. It's going pretty well. Is he surrendering? We surrender. Yes, thank you. Sure, wonderful. Uh, title of loss on succession? Uh, apparently it didn't update yet. Okay. And right, we are now at five domain out of uh, three possible. We don't really have to worry about it now. We don't really have any other choice. We could create vassals when we're a duke, but we're not a duke. Okay, I will disband our levies. Did I lose some troops? It is my province, I shouldn't be losing troops if I disband in my province. Maybe the game didn't update it yet. Okay, nevertheless, I can now declare war on the guy from Bari, and he still has one ally, the Count of, uh, well, of here. So I will have more troops, but I could wait a little while um, so that they would at least reinforce a little bit. The guys from Capua have reinforced. The guys from Salerno, not so much. Maybe I should have returned them home. Yeah, apparently that wasn't very smart. But the guys from uh, the newly conquered place also are reinforcing, which is very nice. So yeah, we will have a much larger army. Or not. For some reason the vassals don't like us anymore. Is that because of... Uh, let me see my vassals. Is that because of the oversized domain? I thought that only worked on feudal vassals. No, it works on everybody. Hmm. That is unfortunate, but uh, not a big deal, really. I should probably decrease city levies now, because I do have an ability to change attacks. Or I could increase church taxation, but church churches don't really pay me anything. We don't have any tribal vassals, so that doesn't matter. I will decrease city levies, so the city... Mm, the mayors like me more. I could decrease feudal levies, but that, that can wait. Alright, wonderful. And this will pass very soon. Wouldn't like to give less men if they can. That will give us a bit more relations. And the wife is pregnant again. Wonderful. Oh, let me check my son. He's 13 now. We should get him away from the bishop relatively soon. Because uh, the education trait... 
uh, we definitely don't want a religious education trait. We want a diplomatic or a martial one. Possibly a martial one would be the best. Provided it's high level. Because it gives you health. Does it give health as well? Mm, not really, only fertility. Uh, yeah, let me see my martial. Brilliant strategist gives you health. I will probably give the guy to him very soon. Something is happening. Byzantium is fighting somebody. Okay, the levies here are only this place is reinforcing anymore. I think we're more or less ready. And we could possibly get to him before the reinforcements come. Hmm, possible, but not very likely. Well, if something goes wrong, we can always hire some mercenaries. Should I wait? Should I wait for the levies? How many more can we get, theoretically? There's the taxation. Little county tax. Melthy. Melthy is not paying me a lot. Okay. Hmm. Well, it won't make much of a difference, and we are wasting valuable time. Oh, I do have a baron vassal. Didn't realize that. Who holds that? Oh, hello, Mr. Baron. Do you like me? He does. And we get another daughter. Amalasuintha. Sure. I think it's time to declare war. We'll just take all these places, all these places, then declare a war of independence on our duke, who's getting pretty old now. And then we will create our own duchy. And keep attacking him. Oh, the king is very young. Don't you get any rebels because you're so young? He's young and crappy. And he has no allies. Oh, our, our kingdom is probably not going to do very well. I would love to become a vassal of the Basilius. Okay, let's continue. Mm, yeah. Barry. Time to declare war on Barry. Claim Barry. Now, we do have to act fast because he does have... A relatively strong ally, so I will just raise all the troops and gather them in this. Should I attack immediately? Probably not. Let's gather them in Salerno. Uh, he's attacking Apulia. Can you get there before I can? 26, 25th. He can't. Good. I will gather all my troops and. Oh, he, he did get there? Must have misread something. Okay. Okay, the game is saving. We do have significantly more troops, so we could just attack him. I'll merge those guys. We don't have full morale, but neither does he. Let's send you here, wait a few days, and then send you as reinforcements, because I wouldn't want those guys to get there first. The third, the thirtieth. Right, and we should win the battle quite easily, and it seems like he's not getting help from his ally. And they're dead, great. 74% war score. Now just to siege one holding and it's ours. We still need one claim here. Because I do want to take all... Oh, what is that? Watching Shilageta, it is a revol eat is revolting and she eats all the time. Is she gluttonous? Yes. She disgusts me. Well. Okay. Well, it's fun from the roleplay point of view, right? We do have quite a lot of counties now, we will have another one, and then I want to... Well, I would like to get this one as well, so we can have everything um, our liege has. Apart from his own holdings. He only has... Oh, wait a minute, yeah. We're going to kill the Count of Bari, or rather take his stuff. He only has have us and the other one as vassals. Let me just see the du jour duchies. Hmm. Duchy of Capua, Duchy of Benevento. Hmm. Alright. Can I create the Duchy of Capua? Uh, du jour. No, wrong. Capua, yeah. Now, du jour. Duchy of Capua. Can I create it? We need to control 51%, we control 50%, yes. We cannot create it unless we take stuff from the Basilius. Which we wouldn't really want to do, because that would be a war that kills us. But we 
can conquer this guy. Now, our vassals will not like us very much because we do have quite a ton of stuff in our domain. Domain too big, minus 10, that will probably change to minus 15 soon. Or is that a constant bonus? Not depending on how big it is exactly. Let's get them to our capital now and see if we lose any troops when we disband them here. Wife is pregnant again, great. Okay, disband them. Yeah, we did lose some people. Maybe because we should theoretically distribute the armies to where they're from, I don't know. Okay, now the claim for this is being constructed. I could declare war, a war for independence, but then he would be left with those three, and I want to weaken him as much as possible, because when the truce is over, I will attack him again, taking all of this. That's the plan, at least. And the domain is pretty big. That is unfortunate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, last possible moment. Let's change the educator to the marshal guy. That is a brilliant strategist. And is that him? Do I have any other brilliant strategists? No. Yes, educate my son. How about the daughter? She also should not be educated by a priest. Although she is being educated by a pope. He would like us less if we took her from him. I don't want her to become a cleric. Okay, let's take her from the pope. I do educate her with the... Uh... Oh, he's a genius. Where did I get you from? Mayor of Melf... Okay, he's my new vassal. Oh, he's awesome. He is awesome. I'm going to give him all the titles. Uh, let's educate her with someone who has... Maybe with someone with high stewardship. With Midas touched. Do we have anyone with Midas touched? Uh, no. He's good, but doesn't have Midas touched. You know what, I will educate her with him. That's a very good decision, I think. And the steward will be changed to that guy. Yes, like me more. Should I collect taxes or research technology? Well, taxes are always useful, but we are quite rich right now. We might even build something soon. Let's research economy tech. All right. Domain too big, I do realize that. Let me see the penalty. Is it still minus 10? Well, I'll get back to that soon. Mm, no, it's minus 20 now. Or is it different with church and with cities? Go to city. Domain too big. Minus 20, so it seems to be the same everywhere. Yeah, I would need to decrease my domain, but uh, my title does not allow it. Right, so what I need is a claim over here. Then we can declare our independence and we get a new son who is just a son. Okay. More kids is good. Our dynasty will survive. Which is the Capua. That's fine. He became a brilliant strategist. That is wonderful. That is indeed wonderful. Can I get you a wife? Can I get you a genius wife? Who is she? She holds claims. She holds claims? Really? A weak claim to the Kingdom of Lombardy. Oh, right. But she's pretty old and all... well... And you? A claim on the Duchy of uh, Abgalbia. And you? A claim on the County of Paris. Oh, interesting. And she is a genius, a lustful genius. Okay, this is perfect. She's not, she's underage now, but we will snatch her before she can, you know, before anybody else does. She's being tutored by somebody somewhere. Who is she being tutored by? He's a Midas touch. That is perfect. Yes, I want her to marry my son. And he looks just like us. Where's the genius girl? Yes, do that. Immediately, pop up, pop, pop out a lot of genius kids. Now, what is that? Uh, a rather heated discussion between myself and the stable master caught Desiderata's attention, and after listening to us both, she settled the matter between me and the stable master. In a fair way, I get the horse, a stable master got the coin. She's, uh, yeah, sure. She's just, that's why. 
he accepts the suggestion. Wonderful. You will be such a good wife to my son. Perfect. And where do you live? North in Bologna. Great place. Wonderful. I am very happy with that marriage appointment. His kids will be great. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you dressed like that? He's a holy warrior, really. Fighting a religious enemy plus 30%. He's charitable and diligent. Unfortunately, he's also cruel. And she is... Craven, the Roth, that those are bad, and the rest is good, and she is also a genius. Let's hope she actually becomes my touch. That would be perfect. How are you doing on the claim? Can I build something? A fort. Hmm. What happened? Uh, Cardinal. Forts. That's a new thing for me, because, um, yeah, horse lords, I think. Forts can be built in any provinces that you control, as well as in the hostile provinces. Uh, where you have troops present. They cost 20 gold to build force, lock down your occupation of empty nomad provinces, and negate the crushing attrition penalties suffered in some pagan homelands. Um, the peasants... Oh, dragon. I can gain one marshal. Feast and dragon, thou doth not scare me. Yes, wonderful. We gain marshal. Should I change the focus now? Because we do have quite a lot of kids now. I could change the focus. Mm, it is family. I think I will go with hunting. Because, or, or I could go with carousing, that's more diplomacy. Diplomacy is, in fact, important. Hmm. It is quite important. Or I could go with stewardship, that would negate the penalty here. Yeah, let's go with the hmm, rulership of business. Town opinion. Oh, that's nice. Let me see how much are we getting from the towns. We are getting the maximum amount, I believe. Are we not? Uh, tax. No, not the maximum amount. Although rulership can give you some nice bonuses. But that would give us a ton more money. I think. Now, let's go with rulership. Stewardship plus three. Unfortunately, it did not increase our domain limit. Oh, it did. Up to four. So it increases our relationships as well a little bit. All right, so when we get that um, events from that, uh, what, what's going on? What is going on? Our liege is rebelling? Really? Are you serious? Luther part of Lombard revolt. Who is that? Who is that? Why am I in this war? Civil war for elective monarchy. Oh, you know what? That could be good. Duke the ill ruler. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I will not participate in the war. I could not care less. But if elective monarchy is introduced, I should probably change to diplomatic and try to get it. I mean, I would need to be a duke tier, probably. I will not participate in the war. You can do whatever you want. Can I declare war on uh, the guy now? I cannot. I do not have a valid Cassus Belly now, even though I had a moment before. Right, I will wait until this war finishes. Either way, I'm fine. Just let's not become enemies before they marry. I mean, long term enemies. Oh, West France is awesomely good. I could eat less food or drink less wine. I will eat less food and gain health due to that. I will still drink wine. Maybe we could get the temperate trade, which is fine, good and nice. Alright, and we are losing the war, which I don't care about. I suppose I could help, but nah. I'll just sit here with my small provinces. Come on, give me a claim. Give me a claim, steward. You know you want to. Okay, she became a fortune builder, which is... Oh, her stats are crap. Oh, she's slothful. Well, let's just marry her off somewhere. Petty King of Gloucester. 
Oh, um, yeah, I will wait until the war ends because that might affect our options. It might be good to get a ally somewhere in, somewhere in Italy. We are pretty weak still. What is that? Porches have been seen in against sea. I could get more prestige and lose intrigue, or I will send people to eliminate them. Send them to eliminate them. Poor little poachers. I don't really want to do anything with them. Cut two young poachers. Couple of dead rabbits. Deal with them yourself. Or death by hanging. Hanging. I will deal with them myself because I don't want to hang them. I still do expect to get the option to let them go. Okay, Mayor, he got some more poachers. Yeah, sure. And still no option. Well, I could hang them, but they're just boys getting food, probably, so... Why would I want to? Okay, get over. Get this war over with. We're winning. Interesting. So we could get elective monarchy. Elective monarchy would be beneficial to us. Because we could assume control. Theoretically. We'd still have, of course... Uh, we would, of course we would still have to win our independence. But we're planning on that anyway. So, yeah, just waiting here for the war to end. Let me have a look at my son. How's your bride? I have to watch her so to see which traits she, get. she gets. She's pretty good already, but with the education trait. Oh, my, this touched. Wonderful. She's not very pretty, but she's... Oh, God, she's smart. And lustful. So good and brave. Yes. Yes, Mary. Mary now. Oh, we have an empty council position, really. Court chaplain. Let's just give it to the best guy. And he will improve religious relations with the Pope. Because that might come in handy sometime. I mean, they're pretty good already, but... Hmm. Yeah, I will keep him training troops because levy size increase is quite useful. Yes, they got married, and he's so... Well, yeah, she's so great. Oh, I'm so happy with that marriage. Come on, pop out some kids. Guys. Okay, so when we die and place him, we will have a wonderful wife. Not that our wife is not, is bad, she's not. But that girl, oh, great. Oh, come on, finish the war already. Seven, 61%. Seems like we're gonna win. Alright, um, though I had thought Bishop Vito to be a more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival was slightly erratic. Bishop Vito claims to be constantly subject to affronts from him, rivaled from his rival, and asked for permission. Can I allow the duel, which will change his opinion, and he will be grateful, could disallow the duel, or banish him? Uh... I don't really want to banish him. Do you like me? He likes me. He's depressed, but... Yes, I will allow your duel. Come, win. Give me money. Will you pay me your taxes? Is he really paying me? Grimolad. Bishop Grimoald is paying me taxes. We see which one that is. Oh, he's incapable. Mm, Grimoald. Why is Grimoald? Grimoald. Bishop Grimald. Alright, he likes me enough, so he's paying me. Because we're both brave and he's content. Alright, content bishops seem to be a very good choice. The wolf's territory has crept closer to the castle, and more sheep, pigs and chickens vanish each day. The wolves are to blame, or every village will fight them together. Who's that? Bishop Vito. Uh, give me sword, I'll deal with them. Oh, wonderful! That's temporary, but yes, I will deal with the wolves. Possibly survive that. Or not. We can... Oh, wait a minute. We can claim Bologna for our son's wife. Bologna is held by a count that... Can I do that? Can I declare war on him? I will be declaring war on the king himself? Oh no. Oh right, because we're not we're not technically his 
um, subject right now because we're in the revolt. Come on, finish the revolt. And we can get another commander. Do I want another commander? Let me see how good how good are the marshal. Oh, we just got gray hair. How good my marshal guys are. Not super good, but I wife are the marshal of Capua, and the Cedars are kid are good. So we could actually. Oh, my kid wants to become spy master. I will make my kid spy master just so he gets the bonus point. Then we will reassign the honor to somebody else. Right. What is your next ambition? Show me your next ambition. Come on. Don't you have any ambitions? Okay, let's assign somebody else to this role and hope our kid keeps that. Yes. And you are supposed to scheme and protect my life. This war is taking far too long, unfortunately. He will not like us so much now, because uh, fired from the council. Uh, but it doesn't matter that much if he likes us. He got the bonus intrigue, and that is what matters. Now he wants to become chancellor, yes! Right, um, an architect has been brought before your court, proposing the construction of a new castle in Katanzaro for less resources than such a massive project would normally require. Before you can give him an answer, unsprang your steward whispers, I know of this man, I believe we can trust him. Well, 400 gold is a lot. I would prefer to use it on mercenaries that I will need soon. If it was in Capua, I would agree. Well, there's a trade post here, really? Interesting. I would, um, if it was in Capua, I would accept. But we do need the money. We do need the money for, you know, mercenaries and stuff. The castles don't really pay much. They don't really pay much. So I will not build the castle. Thank you very much, but not this time. It's a pity I would like to build it, but elsewhere. In our capital province. We do have a Gavalkin succession, so we will lose some titles. I prefer not to die. Uh, my daughter-in-law might fancy me. Oh no. No, we're not that bad. Alright, faster reinforcement rate. Reinforcement rate. You know what, I should probably declare a war for independence very soon. Even if we can't get uh, this county before that, because... We do need a duke tier title before before our ruler dies, otherwise we'll lose all the stuff that we got. It would be distributed amongst our children. So this guy would get some. Poachers, again, what's with the poachers really? Yes, go find some poachers and hang them. Oh, that's because we're cruel. Okay, let's, let's be in character. I will hang them because that's what cruel people do. Um, Wifa tried to protest against the poacher's punishment, but it was too late. He thought I should have been more merciful. Alright. So, so did he. Okay, we will never do that again. I didn't know what would happen. He, they don't like me now. Maybe if we had some other traits, there would be more options. For example, if we had the kind trait. What happened? He improved relations with the Pope. Great. Pope likes me. 47. No, he didn't. Oh, I didn't read that mm, fully. Right, it's time to end the episode. I hope you did like it. Although, not much happened, but we did find an awesome wife for our kid. Which is, I think, quite important. And she's already pregnant. Let's hope it's a genius son. Right, thanks for watching. And next time, if this mm, rebellion finally ends, we will declare independence against our duke. Thank you. See you soon. Goodbye.